all right david harry here so are you somebody who's got an iphone 15 pro max or an iphone 15 pro and are you wanting to record pro res at up to 4k 60 in 422 hq to an external ssd well I've got the perfect SSD if that's what you are trying to do. So what I'm going to do is quickly dive into this video, but the bottom line here is this. I've got this drive here by SK Hynix, which is the Beetle X31. It's available in a half terabyte and a one terabyte. This is the one terabyte that I'm using here. Now, this drive essentially will either record until it's full or until the iPhone's battery finishes and ends. Literally, that's what you can do with this particular SSD. So essentially, you can record single long files forever, basically. Anyway, I'll dive into this, but there will be a link somewhere at the end up here in the description, taking you to another video where I go do like an in-depth kind of review of this drive and also speed tests on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Anyway, this video will explain everything that you need to know if you are thinking about getting one of these for shooting video directly to it okay so as we can see here i am filming the screen on my iphone and i'm using the black magic camera app here so let me just run through the settings then i will start the recording and we can keep an eye on what the recording's doing so i'm just going to go to settings here so the first thing to, uh, to note is where the recordings are, be, are going to go to as you can see here it says files and then it goes to x31 so what we're doing here is using the x31 to send the recordings to so we're recording to the external ssd now if i just come up to record here the codec being used is prores 422hq it says resolution there 4k that's 4k uhd and the color space being used as apple log now the what i'm doing here is using apple log because i think a lot of people would be more interested in whatever it's doing with apple log however regardless of whether this was like you know rec 2020 or 709 i doubt very much that the bit rate is going to vary anyway so i think you know those color space options shouldn't really change the bit rate that much however i'm using the log format because i think that's what most people would be interested in then if we see at the bottom here this is really important it says if me Media drops frame and then the response is stop recording now the reason why that's mega like you know important is because once we're recording if like the software detects that there's been a frame drop it's gonna stop the recording now in that instance that would definitely indicate that the external media or the SSD in this instance is not capable of recording the sustained bitrate necessary to do the 422 ProRes in 4K UHD at 60 FPS with the Apple Log uh, like color profile and stuff or color space. Anywho, so what I'm going to do here is come back to where it says camera. Now, if I just kind of cover the, the lens there, as we can see, the FPS there is 60, so definitely 60 4K UHD. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, um, let me, in fact, let me just go full screen on my uh, computer here for the thing that we're looking at. So I'm just going to start playing this thing here. Now, what I'm going to do is now hit record on the phone. It was a sec, there we go. So as you can see, it's now into record mode. Now, let me just explain a couple of quick things here and why I'm recording gameplay onto the screen. Right, what it is, uh, historically, I'd always thought that ProRes, especially like, you know, well, like ProRes 42HQ and stuff like that, um, I always thought the ProRes was a constant bitrate recording codec, as in CBR. However, I've noticed uh, mo probably more recently than anything, because I've been using a few different apps that are using uh, ProRes, and what I've noticed is that there's like, you know, tick boxes on the CBR to switch it off. So the thing, what that's saying to me, or what it's suggesting to me, is that, you know, that must be going to VBR. Now, the thing with VBR, obviously, that's a variable bitrate record. Now, the big difference there is that if you're on a VBR recording, if you've got like low temporal complexity with, with you know, within whatever it is that you're recording, it will drop the bitrate down. Now, obviously, for this particular test, I need to have the bitrate go as high as it possibly can because we're trying to see how long we can record.
record for at the highest bit rate and if this SSD is capable of that recording or sustaining it. So obviously we need this to be, well, CBR, but I still don't know whether it is CBR or VBR. However, because I've got a lot of temporal complexity on the screen, this definitely will be pushing a VBR recording to its highest bit rate if it is indeed VBR. Like I say, this is just like a safety measure from my side because I don't know whether it is CBR or VBR. Um, anyways, and nonetheless, with all that boring nonsense explained, that'll just give you you know a bit more detail as to what it isn't doing and why I'm using such crazy fast motion like video to record on the screen. Anywho, what I'm going to do is just kind of speed through this a little bit. It won't be too long, but let's just see where that counter goes up to as far as the recording is concerned. But so far, you know, we're already into this by a fair margin as far as like you know a single short clip would be concerned. If you were like you know shooting like drama elements and stuff like that or indeed you know bits for like you know youtube and what have you but let's just see how far this will go Okay, so I'm just going to come back in here quickly because I'm going to have to stop the recording. I will leave the iPhone recording, but I've got to stop my camera recording. That's recording the iPhone because its battery is just about to run out. So let me swap the battery over. Okay, so I've just swapped the battery over on the camera that I am recording the iPhone with here. Uh, hopefully, I didn't knock it too out of focus or anything because I've obviously changed the position of the camera whilst changing the battery. Anyway, as we can see here, we're over like 30 minutes, so I'll just carry on recording. I think maybe, you know, if I let it go for over an hour... I think maybe to say yes you can get a single take for over an hour might suffice for most people so let me carry on speeding through this and see how far we get into it. Okay, so I'm going to come back in here at this point because we've just gotten over an hour of recording here. Now, the only thing is, my camera that I'm recording with is only a Sony ZV-1. It, the batteries go really quick on it. And also, I don't know actually how long the battery on the iPhone will last for, you know, recording at like, you know, 4K60 and stuff and all that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go skipping through. So I'll stop this fast forwarding because I can't afford to keep like continuing recording on my camera on my ZV-1 which is filming the iPhone because unfortunately I don't have any other batteries to put into it so what I'm going to do I'm just going to see if I can kind of like switch the camera off leave the iPhone recording then I'll switch the ZV-1 back on and then see how far down the line I get with more recording so essentially I'm still timing how long the take is it's just that in this instance I can't do the fast forward and through and stuff because uh, well basically I don't have enough battery left on the ZV-1. Anyway, <clears throat> let me just jump through and see like where I can get to next. Okay, so at one hour and nine minutes, I've now got this message pop up which says recording stopped. Recording has stopped due to an unknown error. Well, I've actually got a feeling that the SSD is probably full. What it is, there was actually already stuff on this SSD before I started recording. So I think that that message there is basically referring to the SSD being full. And now we can't record anymore because we filled up the SSD. So what I'm going to do is just double check that SSD in and I'll do an end summary. Okay, so that message at the end there was exactly as I suspected and that was the drive filled up which is absolutely fantastic news so what it was i just plugged this drive into my macbook and I, I did like you know get info or whatever it is and basically it said there was something like one or two megabytes left at the end of the drive as it were so essentially that one take had filled up all of the blank space on the drive now the thing was there was also other like video like clips on the drive that i'd already done earlier on now if they hadn't been on there that that last take would have been even longer so what we basically know here then is like two things 
either you can record until your battery runs out on the phone or until you reach the end of the drive whichever one of those is like the soonest and of course this is by doing just one single take so for anybody out there who's wanting to do 4k 60 uh, prores 422 um let's see i would say regardless of like you know color space and stuff but what i did do here was just to show you you know the prores flat version or the prores log version then yeah you know this drive is definitely going to do that for you i mean me personally i don't need to record things for more than maybe a couple of minutes at a time except when i do these long boring like end summaries to my videos and stuff um but yeah you know for anybody out there who wants to be doing things which like might take an hour to record or you know single takes of maybe two hours i mean don't forget for two hours you wouldn't be able to do that at 4k 60 422 hq with this particular disc here yeah. Um, but if you're like recording say 4k 24 4k 25 4k 30 whatever you're definitely going to be getting somewhere in the region of twice the length of what you would do obviously by recording 4k 60 so essentially you can record for ages with one of these drives so the bottom line here is this I totally recommend this SSD with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, if anybody out there wants a little bit more information or some close-ups and maybe more, you know, see more tests about this drive, check out the other video that I've done where I, it's basically like, you know, a speed test with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I go into quite a bit of detail with that one. Anywho, there will be Amazon links in the video description below to everything used in this video. If you have liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you super like the video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more similar content to this one and also check out the other stuff that's similar to this video that i've already done in the past with various other phones and other products and stuff like that anyway i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>